The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How are you guys doing? Nico? Good. Great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter's outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the run of my legs. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Prime Wedge is, uh, no, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now, toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044. Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Well, good morning. Uh, welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced, natural, wild world. I'm Paige Clark, by the way. Yeah, and uh, we do this to recover our natural health, regain our rights and freedoms, and I'm Nico DeHaan. And it is a rainy day and Monday type day. We have had a lot of rain, 76 yep. degrees in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida. Yeah, it was a wet uh, coming we down We needed here. it. It's greening everything up, it's, though. It uh, keeps the temperature low, and uh, hence we're going to have like 85 to 87 all week nice. because of the rain. Nice, nice. So that's kind of good. Hey, pick up our Health Signals newsletter. In this newsletter, you get it into your mailbox how often? Uh, the 15th and the 1st. The 15th and the 1st. And it's got clickable links to all the stuff we're talking about that will keep you healthy and and, and smart. You got that right. Mm -hmm. And of course, please pick up our Primal Edge, our One Shot Wonder, or 310 organic liquid cell ready ingredients, all there to make you healthy and get the good stuff in. And the bad stuff out. And if you're up early, you want to give us a call. It's 877 927 6648. Good morning, Paige. Good morning. Well, this is our last show for a little while because we're both going on vacation. Yes, we are. It's a mm -hmm. beautiful thing. And I wanted to, to start off the program talking about food processing because that's always in the news. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of studies out. But I thought first what we'd do is just kind of go over what food processing is and what it means so we can define it so we know what we're talking about. And this is, uh, comes from John Hopkins. Oh, there you go. Good source. Yeah, it's a good source. And food processing has come to be associated with, uh, of course, ramen kind of noodles, canned, canned, meats. canned meat. They're like spam. Yeah, kind of like those, uh, what are those, Wiener Twinkies. Wiener and Twinkies. And yeah, all, all kinds of stuff. Little Debbies, sponge cakes. Yeah. And businesses use food processing techniques to transfer... Uh, transform actually raw foods and ingredients to new products. These mm -hmm. techniques are in the gamut and include milling uh, grains into flour, probably one of the most processed ways of doing things, crushing seeds to get their oil, churning the milk into butter, mixing ingredients to make batter and baking cookies on the assembly line. Yeah, but some of these food processing techniques, although many of them might use cutting edge technology, there mm -hmm. others have been practiced for you know, millennia, literally thousands of years, even before food scientists figured stuff out, you know, how to how to make those little dinosaur crackers, <laughs> you know, it's been that Chicken long. Chicken McMullies. Um, yeah. You know, we know that uh, fermenting mm -hmm. and leavening bread, the Egyptians were leavening bread and brewing beer and all that kind of stuff, but for better or worse, Nico, you know, all of our food is processed in some way, sadly. Yeah, and even meat processing uh, can involve uh, things like just cutting and deboning, which is, doesn't seem too bad, mm -hmm. but also removing guts from the carcasses, which probably is healthy in a sense. So we have to think about this. It's kind of the balance between a longer shelf life yeah. and actually some processing such as fermentation, which is a thing that we do to make the food more digestible. You and I were talking about that, yeah. before, right? But, you know, some of it raises concerns over dietary health, you know, and yeah, safety especially in general. because of that study that was out just a while ago that talked about ultra uh, processed foods are much more dangerous for you. So preparation and food safety, over time yeast, molds, bacteria and other forces cause food to spoil, making it uh, less nutritious of course, but it tastes bad and potentially unsafe. So uh -huh. many of the oldest food processing techniques such as drying fruit, uh, pickling vegetables, salting meat, and fermenting dairy to make cheese and yogurt mm -hmm. remain important to this day because they preserve food and they delay the spoilage. Hey, listen to this. This is a little sniglet. Okay. In the 1790s, Napoleon Bonaparte uh, offered a prize to the scientist uh, who could best develop ways to preserve food for his armies in France. Hmm. And uh, Nicolas Aper, a chef from Paris, won the prize in 1810 for his discovery of sterile canning a processing technique that is sometimes called apertization. And canning involves either glass jars, mm -hmm. like the 
pretty colorful ones there, mm -hmm. uh, or metal cans. Interesting, when you go in a lot of grocery stores, like in Europe, you yeah. don't see so many canned uh, Most metal the jars. cans. Most of you see the jars, which Good, I really like. Because you can see the stuff. And that's yeah. why they do that. I like it, too. Yeah, uh, preservation allows people to ship foods over greater distances. It allows mm -hmm. them to store things longer uh, so you can enjoy them later. Uh, Processing can also inhibit or destroy pathogens like disease-causing organisms. Yes. They can also contaminate food. And you see that. You know, we've had yeah. a lot of food recalls and things right. that are going on. So preservation techniques such as refrigeration, fermentation, dehydration, and the use of salt, sugar, or other chemical preservers can slow or stop the growth of these pathogens. Mm -hmm. Heat processes such as pasteurization and cooking them can also help destroy them. Yeah, that's for sure. So although the businesses use food processing techniques to, to reduce these uh, food safety risks, the facilities where f food processes are being done sometimes are part of the problem, too. Mm -hmm. And large uh, processing plants, for example, can hand handle large volumes of pro products fr from different sources. I think that's a problem if you get a shipment of spinach uh, at one farm and that's contaminated with something and then you're using the same equipment to do another type of vegetable or even process it. Cross-contamination against that. Yeah. Hey, here's yeah. a cool picture over here. I don't know. I don't want to cl click on it, but yeah. this, right. yeah, that is, you know, we're talking about some fermentation, some processing is good for us, some not so much, but uh, that was a picture of, um, it looked like stringy beans over there that I was showing you. And... Um, Keep one more. There you go. NATO. That's NATO. NATO. And uh, that's the fermented soybean. You know, last show we spent quite a bit of time talking about one of the most precious nutrients we can get is vitamin K2. Right. K2 it really protects our arteries and keeps us and healthy. And usually only found in animal products. Uh, much of it is, but yeah, natto yeah. is one, but it's known for its pungent odor, yeah. and that's why so many people like well, to take it. Well, it's the process of fermentation that makes the K2. There's mm -hmm. a precursor in there. It's made in our guts, you yeah, know. Exactly. So. But in any case, um, you know, I think that it's interesting to see that did we take processing maybe too far. Well, contrary yeah. to popular belief, the effects of food processing on nutrition are so varied that they cannot be generalized as unhealthy or even healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's certain things that we did to food uh, in the olden days to make it much healthier because somewhere along the line we learned to do these things. Some of them were accidental. It was part of survival. Well, like that story from the samurai that mm -hmm. left his rice out too long mm -hmm. and he had the natto. Mm -hmm. and discovered this was a healing thing, and when he went into battle, he felt great. Yeah. Where the, all the other guys were going, Ugh. And you're eating that stinky stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, th a lot of these things are accidental that we found, but essential to maybe our survival in the long run. And here's another thing to consider, too. You know, here as we go down, I'm just put, putting up some pictures here. Um, here's a woman with a goiter. And a lot of what we see as a result of processing maybe we remove some of the good stuff and put some of the bad stuff or, you know mm -hmm. don't get the bad stuff out some uh, some foods have been processed you know when we started to realize that goiters were an iodine deficiency and that's why we started having iron fortified I mean iodine fortified salt and so forth and they added iodine to table salt to prevent the goiter so sometimes we're able to address health things by adding things that aren't there. That's right. It's interesting. We're going to talk a little bit more about processed food. And we'll be right back after this short break. And pick up our Health Signals newsletter and please pick up our Primal Edge during the break. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And welcome back to the show. So we're talking about nutrition and uh, basically about the processed food. And some processes uh, uh, deplete the nutrition and some of them add it in sort of fortifying it when we fortify things we, uh -huh. we add these vitamins in it uh, can we just uh, hold on for a second because we've okay. got a question oh, okay um, Z wants to ask us uh, hey we don't care when you tune in just as long as you <laughs> tune in no problem uh, I would ask you both to restate your brief conclusions on the benefits hazards of plant-based and lab-grown meat protein substitutes hitting the market and being intensely promoted since I value your experience and knowledge I would be very interested in your thoughts yeah John it, you know that's um that's a <laughs> well, you know, we were it's kind of what we're talking about in a sense, because right. uh, really, uh, you know, if you go back in history and look at what we ate as hunter and gatherers and people who are still hunter and gatherers mostly still eat this way, they're mostly talking about animals, insects, snakes and things like that, and eating vegetables as an afterthought. If we need them, we can use them. Uh, these days, the big agenda is for pushing for things that are not meat. That's I, call the it I call it Franken food. Yeah, yeah. You, you made a comment uh, when we were on the break. Nico was sharing a documentary or a podcast that's yeah, going on. Yeah, this podcast that uh, came from Down Under, uh, it's about three years ago, but very heavily on YouTube right now, the healthiest diet in the world. And of course, what do they say it's, the healthiest diet in the world it's is? It's all plant-based food. Mm -hmm. And there's arguments between them because it's very interesting. I was telling you during the break, one guy is arguing, well, you have to ferment these beans if you're going to use these beans because you can't use them in the other. And the other guy is saying, well, beans are very important. Let's skip that. It's so important that we eat beans. You know, so they're all confused. And, that's not, and in our opinion and in our knowledge and our experience, what we know is that our ancestors passed down the wisdom that if you're going to eat a bean, you better soak it, and you better soak it two and three and four times and change the water and then cook them to death. Yes, in, in order to protect your gut, we were not designed to eat these foods. We do not have three stomachs like a cow. The, this is why, over time, I actually think that perhaps then we've got the issue of juicing. Um, you know, takes out the fiber, so that the damage and a lot of the things that can happen from well, a plant-based diet. Then you got pure sugar. You know irritating the arteries. Remember we talked about how important K2 is to protect our arterial health. So I'm getting back to what you're saying. 
these protein meat substitutes. Nico and I have shared a th idea. Well, they're soy-based, most of them. But they're soy-based, and you've heard us say, <clears throat> soy is not a toy for the girl or the boy. This is the reason we see young girls that are having periods at nine and little boys that are kind of puffy, you know, a lot of these little vegan, vegetarian. I, I see a lot of my friends on Facebook that are raising their kids and grandkids on, you know, healthy plant-based foods, and, and you can see a difference in the way their kids look. I, I truly believe as a result of probably not getting the necessary on, animal nutrition. If you're on a uh, plant-based diet for 10 years or more, you're going to have serious problems. That's I'm not saying that. I love my plant foods, actually. I do, but it's almost like as a little condiment yeah. to my main protein source. And that's mainly how we, it was always used until uh, the food companies started getting involved mm -hmm. and pushing this on us and changing the way we did through the advertising, through the memes of breakfast. Mm -hmm. We never had breakfast, and I always tell the story of they were, you know, they, my they, they first left breakfast. when the sun rose to go get yes. the work done before it got too hot. That's right. And then they came back. But get, to answer your question, uh, John, I really think that some of this push is, um, you know, go back and hear the story about the kings, the, the certain foods were only allowed for the kings, or even when they yeah, said... Only kill the king's deer. Yeah, only, right. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Only the king can. Only the king can kill the deer because, you know, there was a scarcity of deer at that time. Now some people might say, well, there, there's a, an access because, of course, nobody hunts anymore. Well, it's pretty well known that during the 1700s, and we were just coming out of the Dark Ages, and now we have this big revolution where we're building, starting to build machines, and we all of a sudden stumble along a whole new continent, two new continents. Mm -hmm. So now we've taken the world and given half of it again to all the humans saying, we're not running out because Europe was running out of stuff. Not so much Asia, but Europe was running out because too many people there. We overfished. Uh, that's why the things come up like you can't kill the, de the deer for the king. But, no, so now I, we I, discover a new world and we go and ravage that. But I think what's really cool is like how you, you taught me when I first met you. Um, a lot of people go, oh, well, Asians eat rice, and so well, that was a starvation food. They wanted, the, the royalty wanted the other foods so they could feed the masses on, on the rice and so forth, uh, the foods when food was scarce. So whenever I see them pushing things like this, I think it's to get the masses to accept these, I call them subpar foods, Franken foods. Well, first of all, uh, much, yes. much less expensive to keep food that you can process. Uh, plant food, if it's fresh, goes bad fast. Mm -hmm. Meat, even faster. So fresh food, this is why you're coming up with substitutes. Mm -hmm. Because the fresh is hard on us, folks. Well, the other thing There's is not that enough profit. We were talking during the break. Uh, they had this thing in the paper uh, of the CEOs in in Florida, and the ones they were talking about, four or five of them, were making between 15 and 22 million dollars a year, and their employees were making 20,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Now that's you know that's the discrepancy I talk about in today's society. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not equal anymore. And when we start out on the land, we start out equal. It may not always be equal, but we start out that way. Yeah, I, you know, and you and I have different opinions. I definitely don't want to be so equal that we we think that social and oh, socialism always force. leads to communism, in my opinion. And, and I'm not talking certainly about socialism. I would. Uh, I just think you're exactly right. We have become convenience people, and we are willing to accept this. Food and I'm going to say to you, John. Because we're brainwashed. Yeah, don't don't buy these Franken foods. If it's if it's highly processed, if it's a, a vegetarian protein, um, a, a little bit of it. I mean, I don't mind getting peas have protein when I have a peas when I have them. But I like anything I have now fermented. I've noticed my stomach feels better. Of course. And um, I am highly suspect when they start promoting these other kinds of foods and these these things that they know what's coming. And as David Dubine, we've always had ADAPT 2030, he's been educating us on coming food shortages due to, due to the grand solar minimum. If we have crop loss, all of you guys that are traders that are watching the show on TFNN. I'm just starting to see it now. You know, um, we're seeing that due to bad weather and rains and, and cold and uh, crop and so losses. now is the time to go buy, buy that big bag of rice and store it in case you need it five years from now. Mm -hmm. so, so these things are valuable. And go folks. buy your canned butter. Did you know they have canned butter? Yeah, canned butter. I've got so many cans. i got a closet that's filled with cans. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, that's what you want it for, but not now. You want to go out and, and have um, the fresh food. You know, 
go go get your own food and maybe that's exactly what we all need to do well, I mean we, in the reality remember our show is based on local and seasonal so if uh -huh. you buy local and buy seasonal and buy fresh food uh -huh. you're gonna be okay no matter what you do if you eat more vegetables than I do no problem if you eat more meat than I do good luck uh, it really doesn't make any difference as long as it's fresh and it's grown right where you are. Bingo. That is our real premise here. And yeah. I've kind of gotten bored to deers on whether or not if you think a vegan diet is the best diet on the planet or you think Go a pure it. carnivory is, there are benefits. As long as you do them, there can be times where one might be the other, but I just don't want to argue that. What you need to have is, I think, a, a well-rounded diet with the foods that are fresh. Yeah. So in this uh, thing, we're going to go over a little bit more of the processed foods. Yeah, we were and, saying uh, sometimes tags, processing yeah. adds good stuff to yeah, the food. Sometimes processing takes it out. For example, some processing techniques um, will actually add nutrients like B, iron, fiber, iodine. We talked about that. So. Yeah, and in case, a lot of cases, we have to because the food doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. So stick around. We'll be, have a lot mm -hmm. more. We'll be right back. to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418 8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com let him know you heard him on tfnn and save up to 100 dollars on a special package just for tfnn listeners act today the taz profile scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence as you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz order page at tfnn.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page. Of 
And welcome back. So uh, when nutritionists recommend avoiding processed food, they often are referring to highly processed foods that are high in added sugars and healthy fats uh -huh. and have little or no nutritional value and no longer resemble the plant or the animal that they were made from. Now, you, during the break, you were telling me a little process that you make. This is a homemade processed food that was, would be very healthy. Well, yeah, for example, I think what it illustrates is me trying to think more like a primal woman, okay? okay. But yet, with some of my little things that I like, okay. right? So, for example, I buy a chicken sometimes. I'm in a hurry. I didn't roast my own chicken. I could roast my own chicken, but say I bought an organic roasted chicken and I want to have a chicken meal. So, I also have some raw dairy. And maybe my raw cream is getting a little past the way I like it in my coffee, but mm -hmm. remember, raw just ferments. It doesn't actually go bad. Right. So, I'll make like a chicken marsala mushroom with the pull the chicken off there and I'll make the chicken marsala. And then I take the bones and I make a bone broth. Add a little apple cider vinegar to pull the minerals out. I cook that. Um, and, and then after I strain the bone mm -hmm. broth, this is kind of like a primal person would use sure. all of it. Yeah. I, um, I take in the bones. I've cooked it for a day and a half. So the bones, I can literally smush the bones. Yeah, in, you know. yeah. So I add that the bones to my blender with a little bit of the bone broth and I make like the it, it's, it looks, slurry type it's of like thing. a slurry and I pour it in ice cube trays. Huh. So basically the next time I have broth or I'm cooking a sauce or something I'll add one of those and then I'm getting bone marrow and all that delicious healthy collagen and so forth and then I take my bone broth I put it in my big thermos and add a little pat of butter and some pink salt and it's delicious but oh, wow. you know and then you and I talked about eating the organ, eating the whole animal, and that's the way we were, we were raised to do. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have organ meat, because most people don't see it, you have to really ask for it at the grocery store. Yeah. We're going to talk about a company that offers um, organ meats in a capsule that mm -hmm. are processed but freeze-dried to preserve the nut nutrients. And my recommendation is, is to take, you know, maybe 10 of them capsules once a week, mm -hmm. maybe twice. Mm -hmm. And that would be more like you would have, you know, you wouldn't be eating organ meats every day. Right. If you were primal and you had a hunt, you might have an animal, and then after that was gone, you lived on the bones well, and the plus marrow. Well, you shared with the whole tribe, so I mean, sure. yeah. So you, a, you made a, 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 a soup to make yeah. it last, right? right? Exactly. So, I like that. An idea. These are these are things that are very easy to do. Then you save your money. And I love the idea of the ice cube thing. Then you can plop it in whenever you need. Yeah. It. And the next time you make a soup, it's a more nutritious soup, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just so share that. now we're talking about uh, on this about animal slaughter, meat processing, and uh, the workers' health and and, and that's like the that. key point, Nico. A lot of people don't realize. You know, we've seen some of those awful documentaries that show the horrible conditions. Yeah. of that type of processing plan and yeah. it, you know what's the state of the meat that people are buying that's why we're very picky about where we do buy it and, and there's a huge difference between going into a factory even a small factory and watching them do that which if you can get in to do that a lot of companies will restrict that mm -hmm. or going to a place where this one guy a family is farm a family farm and they're processing the meat outside and they're glad to have you watch them because it's an education and then you see it's not bloody like you think it is it's very humane uh, remember animals are usually in the wild eaten while they're living Mm -hmm. So this is a much more humane. They're killed very humanely, uh, very quickly. It doesn't, doesn't cause any pain or distress to the animal. In fact, that's what we don't want. We don't want stress. We don't want, when you're hunting, you don't want the animal to see you and you don't want to be chasing it. Mm -hmm. You want an animal that's at peace with itself. But I think what I get from this, Nico, is that, um, you know, we've gotten so far away from being involved in our food. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a lot of spiritual benefit to being more concerned and involved in where your food's coming from but and this is a this food. is a society problem because mm -hmm. we, not only are we not too concerned and not involved with finding and processing our own food we're not even doing that to our own children yeah. You know, we have a fake birth, we send them off to strangers as soon as we can, and then, then they're educated by uh -huh. strangers, maybe not the same values as you. This is something that our uh, primal people would never do. We never uh -huh. would give away our children. Our ch children need to be beside us so we can show them yeah, what it takes life a village. is about. Right, it takes a village. Remember yeah. that saying? So it's the whole process of thinking how we do things today is completely disconnected with how we evolve. 
And that's the premise for the whole show, showing you how we can now add things in to be more primal, to be healthier, to have a clearer mind, and not to be a slave to our modern society. No matter if you're a communist or socialist or capitalist, it doesn't make any difference. The, all these isms are the same thing, just disguised a little bit differently. And uh, believe me, I love li living in the United States. I would not live any place else. Hey, you're exactly right. I want to thank you, John. Thank you for uh, the nice feedback on our show and for sharing our information. We, we, it's the idea is this is news you can use to stay healthy. So yeah. thank you for that. And I mentioned the ancestral supplements. Remember, I mentioned that um, that perhaps we don't get the organ-based nutrition that yeah. that we were supposed to. I thought real quick, of, you know, maybe we can kind of uh, talk a little bit about. Um, about this this way of this is a type of processing okay. that you actually come back to the other yeah one? we can okay. we can we can interject but I think this is a good example here's a company it's called Ancestral Supplements and um, they produce one small batch at a time to ensure higher quality and attention to detail this includes third party testing of their products and they're a small Texas based company doing business the old fashioned way no shortcuts higher quality just what Nico was saying higher standards where the customer comes first, and they are basically have one purpose. <laughs> what, what, I'll have what he's having. Exactly. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> he looks good. Um, you know, so basically his mission is, uh, I'm all distracted now, is putting back <laughs> in what the modern world has left out. And, uh, and that is to return people back to strength, health, and happiness. Yeah. And uh, ideally, we would consume the whole animal, nose to tail, to optimally support and sustain a vibrant, disease-free life. And for most, that's just not practical today in modern times. That's where all this has come in. So their supplements are for individuals seeking fundamentally liver, bone marrow, and organs, and targeted support uh, in harmony with nature, the old-fashioned way, the way our early ancestors did. Yeah, his name is Brian Johnson. He's also known as the liver king, and he believes that the evolutionary theory of health and wellness, he believes in that theory. He believes that for millions of years, robust strength and ex ex exceptional health was the center to our existence. We once were strong, lean, healthy, and fit. I believe this because most of our human history, we effortlessly effortlessly consume nose to tail all the things we needed for health and happiness mm -hmm. like the fertile ground that we once walked upon we are a natural extension of this earth and then here's a key point and I know you guys have heard me say this over yes. and over those of you all who have listened like John for mm -hmm. years no he has found out most people are critically deficient in the fat soluble vitamins A D E and K as well as magnesium, iron, choline, B12, and iodine. And because of this, they decided to start a supplement line that makes the biggest impact, that gets some of these key nutritional components in with the highest quality grass-fed beef, liver, and bone marrow. We'll put a link. Uh, I actually enjoy these uh, products and have them delivered. And as I said, the way I do it is, you know, I'm over that taking this and that, you know, and you've got all these pills. You, you take them almost like a meal. Yeah. Or you can open them up yes. and sprinkle them yeah, in your food. Yeah. yeah. So that's another, another way to do it. We yes. have to get another break. Short. We'll be right, <laughs> we'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And welcome back. We're on a site called AncestralSupplements.com. Uh, this will, of course, be in the next newsletter coming up. And uh, well, his mission is uh, putting back in what the modern world has left out, to return people back to strength, health, and happiness. Because fortunately, our potential for strength and health remains encoded in our DNA. And under certain conditions, we can genetically express the strongest, healthiest version of ourselves. And those certain conditions almost always have to do with nutrition. It's the first thing that matters. And I was talking to Ellen last night. We were just kind of bantering before going to bed. And I was talking uh, to her about having the, uh, the food companies be responsible for our health. In Wouldn't that be a novel idea? Yeah, they pay for our, all, all our health coverage and everything like that. And now the, 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 the uh, alphabet soup organization, our government, mm -hmm. that's responsible for policing these food companies and so forth, well, you know, they take money to pass things that aren't healthy. Well, not only like that, the story, we have the, the revolving, truth about revolving door of right. you know going from CEO to the government, back to the CEO, back to the government, exactly, and keeping everything. Going. And so they're not really. It's like having the fox, you know, guard the hen That's house. Right. So. Um, if you are like the Johnson tribe or family, then you eat nose-to-tail diet. You consume fermented foods like fish sauce just about every day, and you definitely get midday sun exposure. Hey, fish sauce, for example, when yeah. I went to Thailand, that is a staple in their diet. Yeah. So people go, oh, the people in Thailand, they eat a lot of you know, rice and noodles and so forth. They're eating these yeah. fermented foods that came from animals. That's right. Yeah. And that's what makes the big difference there. Mm -hmm. So this is really cool, folks. The, this... And this is all of it on, available through Amazon Prime, so it's very easy to get. Mm -hmm. uh, look at this: uh, grass-fed beef heart, beef thyroid, mm -hmm. pancreas. This spleen. is this is where food is thy medicine, folks. Bone marrow, thymus. Yes. And these are easily mm -hmm. to take. You can sprinkle them on your food. You can take them as the capsule itself. But this is all the pure product. This is not a synthesized version of it. This is free dried, very healthy, and this is what I think you should be doing. It's not our product. But I'll push this to the limit for sure. So mm -hmm. it'll be in the next yeah. Uh, newsletter. Yeah, and I really I suggest that um, people really get going with it. But so um, a lot of benefits in 
this than when he's talking about the products and everything like that. He's talking about feeling vibrant. He's talking about sleeping like a rock. He's talking about waking up with a smile. And on let's your put face. him back on there because he's like that. <laughs> you know, you like that baby. activating yeah. the ancient pathways. So he's got it right. This guy is all about living a primal lifestyle, eating the whole animal, being in tune with nature, activating the ancient pathway of sleep, nutrition, movement, and sun. Yeah, I'm just saying, he's a strong man. Yep. He's a man's man, and yep. he's a woman's man, too, you know? Yeah, that's for sure. But, um, you know, like what he says, um, <laughs> he has to make his little disclaimer, um, I'm not a doctor and this is not medical advice, but uh, having a degree of biochemistry knowledge, he wrote a thesis on the chemistry and biochemistry of supplemental nutrition. And as a, uh, he's also a Primal Blueprint certified coach, uh, you know, through uh, Mark's thing. And he's been obsessed with ancestral health and living for over 20 years. And he cares about people. And I really like that. So and one of his, you know, he, his, he not just, he doesn't just share his supplement. He's also sharing tips and tools which you and I really hold dear and that's getting in touch with nature and one of the most important things we can do and we talk about it a lot is really getting uh, our sleep hacked and you know we need to sleep like a rock and it's really sleep triumphs almost everything and that's a big problem today for everybody it seems like we well and then let's out. tie it back to is it the is it this highly processed food that the average you well, know that the, the, the Franken food sun, it's the whole style of living mm -hmm. so he asked the question he says, uh, how badly do you want this? How badly do you want to be strong, healthy, happy again? What are you willing to do? If you're like most people reading this right now, uh, there's a little that you wouldn't do to retain or to reclaim these virtues. Well, that's that saying, you know, most people, um, you know, lose their health trying to gain their wealth. And then in the end, they end up spending all their wealth trying to recapture their health. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's definitely not the way to go. Yeah, but, you know, do we, do we want to share his tips? You know, if you read his tips of what he says, um, listen to this. I, I want to go over these because people like these yeah. tips. I like them. Hey, who does this sound like? Get morning sun exposure at the same time every day to regulate your sleep and wake cycles. In other words, establish a circadian rhythm. Now see what he says. This is how you regulate yourself by going with the sun. As I said, our eyes are not just cameras, they're clocks. So set your clock so your body knows what to do. Finish your last meal at least three to four hours before bedtime. If we are eating before bed, then our body cannot rest. It has to digest. And that digestive system needs a rest too. Yes, and uh, my wife being home, uh, working from home now, 99% of the time, mm -hmm. will allows us to eat at 4 o'clock instead of 5 or 6, right. which is a huge thing digestive-wise because oh, I go yeah. to bed at 9 o'clock. And when you go to bed at 9 o'clock, your body, you're getting all that human growth hormone stimulation between mm -hmm. 10 and 2. You're repairing and you're, you're getting younger as you sleep. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea. The other idea is get grounded. Get out the outdoors. Connect with the magnetic surface of the earth. You can do earthing. You can get grounding sheets so you're grounded, uh, or you can go on barefoot hikes on the, you know, on the ground and go to the beach yep. where we live. And put your phone in airplane mode to make sure there's no electronics nor lights anywhere new, near you when you're sleeping. And I love this one. Do you see what it says? No. Nope. Your sleep temperature should be between 64 and 68. And, uh, boy, I like that. I crank my air down and, you know, our air conditioning guy, you know, it's working fine because I do it right before I'm going to bed. Yeah, ours clicks down to 72, but then we have oh, a nice Oh, that's fan. hot for me. Yeah. <laughs> that's hot for me, but, but really make it so cold that even, you know, in the summer you, you, you know, you feel this kind of, mm -hmm. well, th well, why is that? Our bodies actually take that as a signal that it's cold and dark and it's time to heat up the repair engines yep. and use your blackout curtains and blackout blinds so that you have that dark yep. again it's part of that whole signaling how about this use Himalayan salt lamps at sunset instead of regular lighting that's what you do and mm. we do and I've gone in uh, all of my rooms that I trans you know transit at night I have a lamp and I bought the red uh, incandescent light bulbs on Amazon and I've replaced a lamp in each room that is just the red light. So okay. I can, I don't have Himalayan soul lamps through the whole house, but uh, it, would, it would work. But I think this actually provides sure. a little better light, and yeah. it's definitely a red tone. Uh, the other thing the author does, he recommends, of course, a ketosis-type diet, ancestral-type diet, uh, and 
that is really uh, a diet that uh, calms mm -hmm. everything down, not only the body but the mind and everything else. So he really goes deep into that ketosis and a high fat, fat, high fat it, diet is the thing to do. Right, and obviously having the whole animal and getting all the nutrient dense foods, which are really animal foods. But he also recommends the blue blocker glasses at least two hours before you go to bed. That helps make sure that your eyes aren't being stimulated at the wrong time with blue light. And this is my other favorite one that he says, okay. shut your mouth. <laughs> and, and what he's talking about is breathing through your nose yeah, and the, the mouth taping will change your world, folks. Go get the, the mouth tape. Whether you think you sleep with your mouth open or you don't think you do, you probably do. Most of us, when we relax and our head goes back, our jaw relaxes, and mm. that obstructs airway. When your airway is obstructed, you don't get the oxygen to the brain that you need to. Okay. And it's, it's a game changer. You, you end up feeling very relaxed, uh, and you sleep much deeper. And last but not least, he says sleep on the floor like the tribes did. Use that magnetic connection. Maybe maybe, maybe that's a good idea. I think that's probably a good mm -hmm. idea for sure. Make the All whole right. uh, bedroom a floor, you know, put a mattress yeah. in the whole thing. Just just like a, like a futon. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stick around, folks. We got a little bit more. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that have transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the Bull Bear Nadex Options Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. Welcome back to the last segment. Uh, he talks about here, he says, I follow a seasonal eating ha uh, patterns that He's allow us to slip guy. in and out of ketosis. If we're feeling really good, we may stay there a little longer. It helps us to think, to perform, and to produce. 
The following is an idea of how to, how and what to eat. Notice that we also go through periods of feast and famine within a 24 to 120 hour fast and huge refeeds where almost nothing that resembles primal food is off limits. So he talks about water fasting, consuming only water and minerals. It's uh, like the single most powerful metabolic intervention in existence. It's oh, well, second to a dry fast. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, a dry fast is actually uh, it's amazing, accessible but to needs to be done everybody. carefully. It's mm -hmm. time and money saving. It's a default way of life in the animal kingdom. Only recently have certain animals, Homo sapiens included, had such an easy, unlimited, and effortless time to find food. Well, we you know, think about out. it. Let's let's we, go with our whole discussion of this show. Mm -hmm. That fasting mm -hmm. is very much what a, a primal person would have experienced. You mm -hmm. know, they go, they're looking for their next meal, and it may not just be like what we have, where it's um, you know every two hours at the nearest Wawa. You know, they it's, pull in and grab have, something. We haven't got it, got it completely backwards for mm -hmm. sure. So I like following people like this, and certainly the products are fantastic. Yeah. And this is, of course, going into the uh, Health Signals newsletter, so you can read all about it and have access to these sites. But, folks, it's really important to understand that pro highly processed food is not the way to go. To eat seasonally, local, fresh as you can. I don't care if you're eating animals or plants, but for me, the animals are the staple that, that uh, it revolves around 90% of what I eat. And the rest of it is a little, it is not as important. It's more important for me to get what I need from the animal. And if I can, can include some of these things that Brian Johnson is bringing to us, that really, really feeds my brain and the whole body just feels really good when I'm eating this way. And I eat so little. If you folks saw what we ate last night, it's a small pork chop. Yeah, me too. And I, we didn't even finish it. Mm -hmm. And that's all we had. We had a couple of pieces of chocolate afterwards. For breakfast, I have two eggs and a little sausage. I mean, there's not much. You don't need much. They've been fooling us. That's exactly right, because they sell a lot of that junk that's in the shelves. Yep. This is great, guys. Get this article. Read about the tribal bonding. It'll, it'll, it's, a, it's a good little section. Yep. That's the not show. Bad looking guy we'll see you all um, after vacation, I guess, huh? Yeah. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot.